What is up guys, back out again with another Transformers discussion video. Today in this video, I will be talking about the lost Transformers franchise that was TransTech. That was supposed to premiere in summer of 2001, but of course got replaced with Robots in Disguise for Hasbro and Takara to have time to premiere and sketch up stuff for Armada. So I just want to take a look at some concept art, talk about it here for a few minutes for this video. But uh, yeah, looking at Optimus Prime's design here, I, it wouldn't surprise me if the the dudes in charge of the movies took inspiration from Trans Tech. Um, just looking at Prime's design here, the the Trans Tech aesthetic was very movie esque. And, and Beast Machines, because as some of you guys watching this probably may know, Trans Tech was originally supposed to be a follow-up to Beast Machines, which which would have been, uh, I don't know, but I've, I haven't watched a ton of Beast Machines. I've seen a few episodes, and me personally, I thought it was all right. It's definitely not as bad as people make it out to be, but it's definitely not. It's definitely not the greatest uh, cartoon out there. But Prime, he looks cool. I would love for Hasbro to make a figure of this. Just, just like delve deeper besides the typical G1 Optimus, Megatron, Starscream, Bumblebee. Please, Hasbro, you guys are already doing it with Beast Wars. You're doing some Unicron Trilogy stuff. Just please give us new animated figures. Give us some um, more Beast Wars, delve deeper into the rich G2 era instead of just doing repaints of G1 figures, please. All right, end of my, my little rant there, but Optus Prime's design, he looks really cool in my opinion. Very smooth, rounded shapes. The Cybertronian vehicle mode looks cool. Um, what else do I want to look at here? Cheetor. The yellow kid appeal himself. This design was 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 uh, used later on for animated. It inspired Blur's design from animated and the club exclusive. I think it was in two thousand eight. They repainted and remolded the animated Blur figure to be sort of like the Trans Tech Cheetor, but then again, it's more of like an animated Cheetor. But uh, I think that's one of the only, like, trans tech type figures that actually released, except for, like, a few people using certain designs. Like, our Armada Megatron, I think, was inspired by trans tech and Energon Landmine. But Cheetor, he looks cool. I mean, it would be nice if they did, like, what they did with. Uh, animated blur was like give him feet underneath the wheels but it's an all right design i don't like it as much as i like optimus but it's it's not terrible it's it's definitely a little bit better than some of the beast machines designs but um next up i want to take a look at my boy shockwave one of my favorite transformers characters of all time and his design is pretty cool. I mean, they still have him as a purple dude. He's got some green, some gray there, which I think if if I was... It sort of inspired the, the Energon Shock Blast design, to me at least, especially with the green color. I'm pretty sure um, Energon Shock Blast is the only version of Shockwave or Slash sh uh, Shock Blast that had green on him. I don't think animated Shockwave had any green on him, right? Uh, no. But he looks cool. He's got he's got dual arm cannons, shoulder or uh, arm mounted cannons, sort of like Megatron, which is pretty cool. He he still has the the one eye sort of with the antennas on his head. It's more of like a visor look than an actual like uh, Cyclops type eye. But <clears throat> he looks pretty cool. I would like to see a Generations figure of him. I would like to see Generation figures of all the trans tech designs. Um, but next up, uh, Silverbolt. 
which is probably the furthest departure from any of Silverbolt's previous designs from Beast Wars, Beast Machines, uh, G1. <laughs> but um, he's still a jet here. He's still a flying character. But this time he's blue, and he sort of reminds me of Jetstorm, just because he's a flyer and he's kind of that rich blue color. Wouldn't surprise me if he was Jetstorm inspired. But again, I would like to see a figure of this. Please, Hasbro. Either revive the trans tech idea and aesthetic, or just give us figures that reference trans tech. Please, if any of you Hasbro execs, Mark, if you're watching this, Mark, my man, I know you want to do stuff other than just G1 Optimus Primes. So please, give us some trans tech. Give us some of these delicious, hot designs. But uh, yeah, Civil Bolt. Cool, cool, cool. Next up, I want to take a look at Starscream. When I first saw this concept art, I didn't know it was Starscream. I honestly didn't know who it, who it was. It sort of reminded me of Alpha Trion, to be honest with you. But when I found out it was Starscream, I was like, wait, what? Huh? But, I mean, it sort of works. Um, the toy art, the toy prototype had him as a jet, if I remember correctly. And he sort of has wings on him. He does have wings on him. And he's still red and white. This is basically the Armada color palette. The more that I look at it, the red, the white, yellow, black, gray... So I could see where Armada kind of got inspired by the whole color palette of Starscream there. But yeah, he looks cool. He's probably one of my more least favorite designs just because, like, I don't know. Like, it's Starscream, sort of, but it's just not one of my favorites. It doesn't strike me as that Starscream type, to me at least, you know. But next up, I want to take a look at the big bad himself, Lord Megatron. You could definitely obviously tell that this is what led to his design in the Armada cartoon. He's green, he's a tank, he's got tread, he's got treads for shoulders and treads on his legs. So, it it definitely inspired the Armada design. And I'm pretty sure they used this similar design for uh, the Bumblebee movie Blitzwing One Step Changer, um, which uh, which was pretty cool, but again, I want to see like actual ger generations figures of this stuff. But uh, my nose is, is is itching me. Ah! But uh, <laughs> um, Megatron looks dope. If I were to rank these designs, is there any more like leaked designs here? Let's let's take a look at some of the characters. I'm gonna rank these des des these uh, designs. After I just want to take a look at all the characters that we know were in the show. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Here we go. I'm going on a TF wiki, boys. Okay. The Maximals, Black Arachnia, Cheetor, Night Scream, Silverbolt, Rat Trap. We took a look. We take. We took a look at <laughs> uh, Silverbolt and Cheetor. Does Black Arachnia have a design for her? Let me just scroll quickly here. I'm not seeing anything for her. I don't think there's any concept art for these other characters. <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me. Immorticon. Oh, this guy. I knew I was missing one. Immorticon. He's an original character that they were going to use for trans tech. I don't think this guy showed up in other TF media. Um, he transformed into a tank... Most toys, he never got past the concept art phase before Hasbro nixed the whole shebang. 
This design was revived by Draxel Jump when they contracted to create the Marvel Megamorphs line for Toy Biz. It became the Hulk toy. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, the Morticon. What's up, Hulk? He looks cool. Again, I want to see a figure of this. It would be it would, it would be very nice if we saw a figure of this. What's the timer on this? Ten minutes? Wow. Okay. If I were to rank these designs, I would say uh, my favorite would be Optimus. Then I would go Shockwave. Then I would say Cheetor. Then I would say Megatron after that. Wait, no, I would say... I think um, Mordecai, then Megatron. Then Starscream. And then, of course, there was some toy concept art. Or toy prototypes, I should say. That we've seen. We've got Cheetor's vehicle mode. Which looks pretty cool. And then we got images of Starscream's vehicle mode and robot mode. I think that's Starscream, right? Yeah. And I would I would like to see these get released, these original molds, or give us newer updated engineering for these guys. Because I think these designs are pretty freaking rad, especially since the movies have been a whole big thing for the past 15 years, and these are very movie-esque designs. So it would only make sense that to capitalize off this movie craze that we're still in after 15 or so years, it would make sense that they would revisit these designs somehow or give us like, just give us a whole generation's wave of trans tech stuff. I would be down for it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, would you guys like to see trans tech get revived? Would you like to see figures of it? What are your favorite designs of trans tech? And was it worth Hasbro scrapping for robots in disguise in Armada? Let me know down in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. My Instagram and Twitter are linked down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!